guys show from one up reviews and today we've got a sneaker review and an unboxing of the Salehi Benbury Yurt 574s. Before we get into this review guys, if you're new to our channel, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our latest reviews. Slap that thumbs up, we want to see those likes, it helps us with the algorithms. Drop some love in the comment section below, we try our best to reply to every single comment that's thrown out our way. And I just want to take this time and opportunity to thank our subscribers, new and old. Without you guys, we can't do this, so thank you. Let's get into it, so today, we have got a look at the New Balance Year 574s, designed by the one and only Salehi Benbury. Uh, we got these in the forest green colorway in a UK size seven. It's a European 40 and a half, and it's a US men's seven and a half. So we have done a review of the gray versions of these year 574. So if you want to check that out, go ahead, feel free, helps us get those views. But if you're here because you want to see the greens, you're in the right place. So before we get unboxing, I just want to throw like a little side note or information about who Slehi Benbury is. Probably one of the most influential designers in footwear. What he's done, he's touch works on Yeezy. He's done a lot of work with Anta, that's the Chinese basketball brand. Canada Goose, he recently did some Canada Goose and NBA jackets. But more importantly, it's what he's done with, with New Balance and with Crocs that have just put them on the map, very eccentric designer, very unique designs. In my opinion, very sought after from myself, and I'm just glad to have another pair of, of his new balances. So we've got a pair of the yurts. Let's have a look at the box first. So just like the gray ones, it is yurt inspired. So for those that don't know, the yurt is this little tent that's here. It's a circular tent that is usually used in Mongolia, but traditionally in Turkey. So it has all the outdoors adventures vibes already attached to it. And like a lot of uh, Slayhees sneakers, they're part of the Peace Be The Journey line, which obviously he started with the 2002 R's with the Water Be The Guide. Uh, those are one of my favorite sneakers. I wish I was able to get a pair. I mean, give us some time. I'm trying to rack up some money so I can buy a pair from StockX, but give me some time for th on that part. But today we've got to look at the 574s, so here we go. There they are, beautiful color. Uh, you've got the Salehi Benbury wrapping paper and a bit of artwork on the lid as well. So before we get looking, I just want to mention that Salehi took inspiration from New Balance's more traditional silhouette, 574. We have done another review of the traditional 574s in grey and some other colours, so check that out if you get a chance to. But today we look at these UR 574s and you can see more of a more exaggerated, unique, innovative look that was designed by Salehi himself. So we start with the outsole, and this outsole is, in my opinion, what has the most 574 sole on it. And no pun intended, I meant sole as in the metaphysical, but in the literal sense as well. So you've got this all rubber outsole here, and you can see a New Balance like shank plate that's in the middle. The New Balance logo as well on the heel. And it's more of a rugged design. These are your 574s, but the Hiker version, so you can see uh, lugget traction patterning here. Moving along onto the midsole. So this midsole has an array of New Balance technologies. So you have the roll bar here for the sturdiness and to keep the foundations of the sneaker. And you have the absorb, you can see it clearly here. And that's there for the cushioning and for the comfortability for the underside of your feet. Looking at the uppers, so this is a lush uppers, you've got loads of great materials used here. A mix of suede, levers and meshes. So you can see it all incorporated at the toe box. So at the toe box you've got right here, this by the mud guard is like a leather strip that is treated with waterproof goodness. It feels like it is waterproof. It's a bit more sturdier than your typical levers. And just above that, you can see this 3M stripe, well strip here, I mean, so, it's in this morph colorway, you know, the really 
darkish purple and these are reflective the camera does a great job catching it here but underneath you got the blue mesh right there the whole sneaker is relatively made out of this hairy suede so you can see it all incorporated in this nice khaki finish quite hairy as well there you got normal lacing system with some flat laces the new balance n right there in the leather with the red outline the tongue very nicely padded obviously it's going to be comfortable for your hikes your walks in the trails and you got the yurt 574 logo stitch on there cushioning is beautifully done here and i feel like we haven't gotten to the elephant in the room which is this big plastic whistle that's on the back and you heard me right guys this is a fully functional whistle so for those that don't know i did mention the story of why Salehi Bembry incorporated a whistle at the back and that is because he was inspired by his friend Samuel Ross founder of ACW and when he made his ACW Nike Vomeros they had a like a cut box that was at the back and essentially it did nothing so what Salehi wanted was to have the back be practical and if this is really practical obviously i've said it before there's a lot of hiking inspiration incorporated in the sneaker and what better way to well be a point of difference than adding a whistle this is fully functional i must say again and it's the little details that are here as well so these are unused uh, no one's blown into this so you can see here in this little strip it says remove in case of emergency and the reason why is that while well, you hear stories of hikers getting lost in their trails in their walks or in the forests and they are sometimes without their mobile phones to contact anyone or well, there's no signal so how can you attract attention but grab this i'm gonna rip it right now so here we go we are in an emergency and i'll do the whistle for you guys so it's a bit loud so There is, I'm pretty sure that's caught someone's attention. If not, the sneakers will do that for you. So just before we move on to the on feet review and the insole here, you got the blue insole, that's very beady, if that makes any sense. There's little raised beads that you can faintly see with the New Balance and Salehi Benbury logo that's inside. And that's just there for the orthopedic reasons. It's very much like a pair of Crocs. You can see the molds that are there. And that's there just to make your underfoot a bit more comfortable, which is great for when you're doing those long hikes or just flexing on people on the roads. All that said, I can't wait to show these what they look like on. For those wondering, I got my tracksuit buttons from Weekday, uh, which is a European brand. And before I sign out, I always forget to do this, but the blue mesh that you can see here, very, very nicely done. You can see the little tag there that says Salehi Bembry designed by the man himself. So roll out footage of me trying these bad boys on. When it comes to the fit guys, I recommend that you get your true to size New Balance fit. Unfortunately, these are a UK men's seven. I am, for New Balance, I'm a UK size 7.5. And I mean, my toes are kind of at the very top there. And it feels a bit tight on the right, 
but unfortunately I was only able to get a seven, so I'm gonna have to pay the price and bear this pain. Well, it's not painful, it isn't painful, guys. Uh, that was just a bad phrasing. It is comfy still. The insole, beautiful, and the shoe surrounding my, my feet are just wonderful. It's just a tiny bit tight, if I'm being honest. Thanks guys for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. Follow us at one Reviews with Z at the end on Instagram. Until next time, peace.